mean open source technologies, mainly Web2 technologies such as Google Apps and other technologies. We actually create um, virtual learning environments for teachers and students based on Google Apps. And uh, this research and practical approach have been used to feedback the initial proposal for lifelong learning program project. The title is Development of Innovative ICT-based Content, Services, Pedagogies, and Practice for Lifelong Learning. Miranda Net is in partnership in this project together with uh, the University of Catalonia, Spain, uh, universities in Slovenia, Netherlands, and Greece. As part of our responsibility as a project partner, we need to investigate and analyze current practice in the field of ICT-based content services, pedagogies, and practice for lifelong learning. In this context, I would like to present the Flat Classroom project, which we developed in the International Community School, September, December 2011, which is to deal with creating this integra integrated model, which include all these elements which should be looked at in integration, not in isolation as we actually identified earlier in some of our sessions, looking at some of devices and evaluating some of devices in isolation without looking also at the pedagogies which are coming with them, also activities which are coming with them, services and uh, practices which should be sustainable. So this particular project was very successful. I, as John said, um, contributed to different conferences and submitted work through different uh, channels, uh, including MirandaNet channels, and also presented an article, a collaborative article, which John and I wrote uh, in international conference in um, Venice, uh, in Venice in June last year. The article had so great success that we have been invited to submit now an extended article to analyze in depth the pedagogies behind this approach, I'll be speaking about in a minute, um, and publish this uh, uh, extended article in um, a very prestigious international journal which we'll do shortly. Now, why this doesn't work? Okay. We need to go back to you, back. Okay. Thank you. Yeah? The other one, one more. Okay. Okay, thank you. So uh, this is the environment which we, we have been using, flat classroom project environment. We probably will not have time to show you all the tools there which are integrated in this environment, but the website is available and you have the presentation and you can explore all these uh, facilities there. So our project um, was based on a particular topic how ICT could improve people's life. However, the topic was linked to the English curriculum, and I have been working with a teacher, English teacher, who, who had specific learning objectives to achieve, uh, to enhance students researching, collecting, analyzing, evaluating, reporting, and presenting information skills. We have done this through the flat classroom project. The students were required to develop all these skills through different activities which we integrated into the project. 
presenting the topic how ICT could improve people's life. The final product which the project required was in a format of a video storyboard. However, we focused more on the process of learning rather than the final product. And through this process, students developed not only the curriculum objective skills, but also life skills like communication, collaboration, presentation skills. So how this um, has been done? Um, at least four reasons we consider to start with why we should consider the potential of um, innovative technologies. We were convinced that we need to look at these new technologies at least because um, of the demands of 21st century. Our specific flat classroom project aims were to develop, as I said, uh, the curriculum objective skills plus additional skills like enhanced interaction, creativity, collaboration, building up knowledge together. The students developed skills for cooperation, communication, collaboration, and competition, and they were able to introduce themselves to the global community. Here are our students for uh, security reasons. They used uh, uh, nicknames, and um, I'll show you the teachers and students' reflection um, when I finish the presentation because it will be good for you to see what the teacher said and what the students said in terms of the benefits of this project. We use integrated Web2 technologies in this particular environment. Google Apps and additional technologies as um, um, Illuminate, YouTube, Animoto and many other technologies. And uh, the idea behind that was that students were required to complete specific tasks which were facilitated by these technologies, not the other way around, to, to be um, requested to use these technologies for the sake of trying them out. So they had specific tasks within uh, the project compulsory tasks such as they were required to um, communicate with their peers across the globe who were involved in this project to provide evidence that they received support from them in any form. Uh, could be just a, a video file, could be just uh, advice online. They needed to provide this evidence and at the same time they were required to provide support to their peers back in a particular uh, way through online forums or um, giving them um, a video presentation or some other kind of feedback. So as I said, we focus on the process of achieving the final results. And this was the strongest point of this project. Um, the students published uh, their work on the project wiki, all in the integrated environment. Um, they published their final products on the same environment, the video storyboards. Um, they participated in this global competition through this particular environment called Flat Classroom Online Environment. And as I said, the students found more challenging and the teacher and myself as a project manager found more challenging actually to develop new behaviors, new skills in, um, among the students as skills for online communication, collaboration, networking, rather than developing ICT skills to create a video storyboard. This was achieved very quickly by the students, but 
the great uh, benefit of the project and the great achievement of this project is developing of these lifelong learning skills, which are in the context of our European project. So through this integrated environment where we looked at this, the tools, activities, pedagogies which underpin these processes, we actually demonstrated one framework, one model, how this kind of um, integration between all these compulsory elements of introducing technology in teaching and learning could be achieved. We're looking for other ideas, of course. Um, your feedback will be very welcome. Uh, perhaps we'll create online forum or online community of practice to see what you would contribute there to feedback the model we are going to develop within our European project. It is a two-year project and uh, of course we are looking for more ideas, more models which will feedback our understanding and our development in this project. So thank you for your interest. If you think that there is time, uh, it's three minutes feedback from the teacher. It is good perhaps to see what the teacher says um, and probably some of the students as well. So if um, I go to this one. The teacher was very enthusiastic and it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see it. Uh. Should happen. Do you think that it will happen? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Going back. Can you help? <laughs> I should be at the beginning. Hmm. When does it work? It's, I think it's because it's a window file. Yeah, but no worries. I can if you give me one minute, talk, do some talking or something. Yeah, all right. I'll yeah. convert what I was it say for you. Was that we can see how how um, Katia's project fits in with the other things that we've been talking about. Yeah. I'll convert um, them for you. Particularly because she was very much involved in the per the learning purpose. I noticed you were thinking about that. Wait. Very much looking at the yeah. learning purpose, yeah. Do some talk, not yeah. the technology, which I think um, is a very important approach. Did you want to say something? Charlotte. Yeah. I picked up my son last night from one of the United Nations who's just flown in from The Hague. They had spent a week working on all sorts of documents. He's been pretending to the Bulgaria or whatever. And because they have a real, well, as far as they're concerned, real objective, they, you can see them developing their learning, and mm. you can see that actually continuing the conference on afterwards using this kind of technology would be really exciting, and doing the same thing for things like in the enterprise, where they start communicating across, because they believe in the objective, they get completely immersed, and yes. it changes the yeah. cognitive yeah. processing. Yes. No, we've, we've We've um, certainly, um, Katy, who happens to be Bulgarian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a good choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it has been, um, you know, has always looked at these areas. You didn't hear the, um, we had a group before and we were all talking about, obviously, Miranda Nett's particularly keen on going beyond the actual device. Mm. So what on earth are you using it for? And most of our research 
has gone into that area and we're going to actually um, we've got a, a new line, a new approach which is to try and build like concept maps of all the knowledge that we know and try and get some ever build it into knowledge we're doing a big global project on that and uh, Katya also mentioned the lifelong learning the, the project, the European project that we're doing where we've got Slovenia, Greece, yes, Catalonia, Dutch, and English. And Not it, just English, but Miranda Net. Yeah, well, <laughs> but it's going to be, um, in fact, the theme is going to be creativity. Yeah. So we're really looking for lots of um, work in that area, which I think is going to be very exciting. The people we're working with are developing the software, and they didn't mind too much what creativity, what, what subject we chose, so crea creativity seemed to fit most of our members. So, how are we getting on, Theo? Right. Nearly done. Well, you know, it's, it's the wrong one, I'll do the other one. It's, it's doing, it's doing. You know, you can't make a kettle boil any faster. No, but I can talk for England. Well, carry on. <laughs> one more minute. <laughs> somebody yeah. else, somebody else has got something to say. Roger. Yeah. Thank you, very good question. Thank you for your interest. Uh, we completed this particular case study within four months, September, December 2011. However, this environment, integrated environment I'm speaking about, if there is time I can click on the link and you can see it, it's ongoing global project where everyone who is interested and who is a teacher and has a pilot group of students could join, could uh, see how the project is structured, find pedagogical objectives, link these pedagogical objectives to the activities in the project, and then contribute and develop case study. So it's open to everyone who is interested. It's run by um, two American teachers. It's a global scheme, global collabor collaborative project. Everyone can go, apply, and uh, participate. That sounds fascinating to, to have that sort of breadth. Um, how, how do you build in your evaluation of the value that the students are getting from the process? Thank you again for this question. Uh, the way we have done it, uh, we looked um, at the feedback which we collected from the teacher and from the students. We analyzed this feedback and we um, reflected on the pedagogies which we integrated in the whole model which are social constructivism, active learning, liminal spaces and bricolage process. Uh, John um, um, collaborated with me uh, analyzing this uh, case study uh, and we, as I said, we submitted an article to international conference with this kind of evaluation. Um, if you are interested, I can provide the link because it's published on the web and now we are invited to extend this article and we are going to look at other pedagogies as well like uh, the Bloom's Digital Taxonomy and also if you heard about um, uh, the GISC framework called Dial-E. Anybody heard about it? Well, uh, yeah. Helped write it with Simon Hutchinson <laughs> and Kevin Burden. So, yeah. so you can play it. It's three minutes and it's worth, worth looking and listening to the teacher. Very valuable feedback. Great. Um, Miranda gets a bit of the mafia. <laughs> we pop up everywhere, don't we? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. 
بدی تو کار رو بدی We'll see what the students say as well. questions I'm happy to answer they, they, there is a file which is a final product a video storyboard if you have time later you can watch it just to see what kind of final products the students produced uh, the one which is on this computer is the one which uh, received one of the awards of the competition any questions I'm prepared to answer I think most of the questions were answered through the evaluation of the panel. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Very interesting. Thank you. And uh, another example of someone, um, Katya Zakakne is a boss assistant professor in, um, in Bulgaria, and she's a doctor. And it, one of the things I said to people who are going to be reflected in the question. taken some photos. <laughs> uh, I also took someone here. Yeah. Um, and I can email. Yeah, I can email. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, can I just say, can I just say,